Welcome to Extreme Cut. In this video we're going to show you a couple ways to import a file into Extreme Cut uh, and some of the things you can do with Extreme Cut once you import a file into it. When you first start Extreme Cut, uh, this will be the screen that will pop up. On this screen you'll have some import options, import Athena cut list, import a map file. Uh, you can show a current project or a project that you've already done. You can load a project that you've saved and you can save a project out uh, once you do your optimization. Down on the bottom you're going to have the same thing here as a new project. So if you want to start a new project you would start here if you already have one. Uh, you can save this project. You can exit from the program. Uh, this button is your setup material button for setting up your stock lengths. And this is your optimize button. Once you do all your settings, uh, this is the button you would use to optimize. Up on the top you're going to have a file toolbar, a view toolbar, a setup toolbar, a sorting toolbar, and your help file. In the file menu on the drop down, uh, some of the same things you see here, you're going to have an import Athena, import wizard, you can load a new drop list, and a drop list is any list you save from a previous optimization uh, where you had set uh, the, the pieces you had wanted to save to re-optimize. Uh, your optimize button, a new project button, a save, an export button, and exit. On the view toolbar, uh, you can reorganize the layout. So at any time uh, you're working in an extreme cut and you need to get your layout back to its original uh, look, you just go into view, hit reorganize layout, and that'll take your layout back. Uh, you can do a material list, uh, a cut list, a drop list, and your optimization settings are here. In the setup tab, uh, you can set up for your drops, uh, what size you want to save and what have you. Uh, you can do your optimization settings. You can set up your preferences uh, for your units and what have you, and your barcodes. On the sorting tabs, uh, you can sort your material by part number, by color, by finish. Uh, you can sort by tags or by building, by elevation. So if you had elevations E1 through E10 uh, and they were listed in here, you could do by elevation and it would sort all your elevations uh, by elevation. And then different other ways to actually do sorting and then this is your help file. This will give you your standard uh, Extreme Cut help file, your online help, some video tutorials. Uh, this will tell you what your licensing is. Uh, you can check for updates and about Extreme Cut. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import a map file uh, into our Extreme Cut. So we're going to click the import map file button. This is going to allow you to browse to a file, a uh, CSV file to bring in. Now I'm just going to bring in any CSV file. <clears throat> and this is going to bring up the file mapping screen. Once you have your uh, file mapping dialog up, uh, you'll notice there's two dialogs here, a new mapping and an existing mapping. Uh, we're going to start with the new mapping. Uh, if you're starting off uh, fresh, brand new, you would use the new mapping. And I'll just label this uh, demo. Uh, and you can label these mappings <coughs> and save these for later on. Uh, and then uh, you can actually delete a mapping. And if you have a mapping in here already, you can use an existing mapping or you can delete a, a, a mapping. Uh, so we're going to click Next. This is going to bring up our import settings. Uh, sometimes uh, CSV files, the very first row, could be just the descriptions, uh, such as part number, part length. Uh, we're, if that's the case, we'll ignore that first record. Uh, sometimes a record is a collection of values uh, with different uh, characters, kind of like a typewriter, where each record is on a separate line. Uh, sometimes you'll have where each record, uh, like a line feed, where you'll type all the way to the end and it'll automatically go to the next line. Most of the time, though, you'll have each record on a separate line. If you have a pipe symbol or a unit separator, you can set that, or a carriage return, that's where you would, uh, before you hit the end of the line, you would hit enter. Uh, but most of the time, it'll be each record on a separate line, uh, comma separated, uh, tab, pipe, uh, we'll pick comma, and we'll click next. This will bring up our mappings dialog. Uh, here, let me get this centered. Here, this is going to uh, list the, the, the fields in your list. Uh, and in the list I'm bringing in, it's telling me I got some layers I got to finish, a uh, description, a length. And these fields are the fields that are in Extreme Cut. So you would just take and uh, map these fields to uh, what's in Extreme Cut. Like we'll take a description, 
hit the drop down and we'll we'll match that up with part description uh, finish we'll match that up with finish so it's just as easy as you're just matching your fields to the fields in extreme cut and extreme cut will rearrange yours to uh, to come in uh, we'll bring in elevation uh, we'll bring in length <laughs> and you don't have to bring in all your fields uh, for it to work uh, you can bring in as many uh, fields as you want and, and it'll do it but just to save time I'll just bring in uh, this right here now if you have parts uh, where uh, you have a quantity of four uh, so it's only listing one part with a quantity of four you can create those parts individually in other words you can have them listed individually uh, or if you uncheck this it'll list them as four of whatever that type is here we'll check that we'll click next here is where you'll actually be able to set up your miters coming in now there's basically three ways to uh, to dimension it the same angle uh, you can dimension that angle from the inside you can dimension it as a pie where it was a straight line to here and it would be a 15 degree so 15 and 75 would be a 90 degree or you can dimension it from the outside which would be 105 degree so based on how your angles are dimensioned is how you'd want to bring these in uh, we, we have to know you know how you're actually dimensioning these if you're dimensioning with the 15 degrees just click fifth the 15 mark it'll actually change uh, the screen is interactive um, and it will change for you You can change it down here uh, but it's important that you match up how you're dimensioning your angles to how we are going to bring in that angle okay and then at the end it'll say finish name this mapping and save for future use so if you want to save this mapping so you don't have to remap everything uh, just click save and what will happen is once you save that mapping the next time you go back in you won't have to go through the mapping process uh, you just click that mapping it will import that file automatically then if you click finish it'll import uh, it'll import all your files and here we've got uh, it imported in um, and in the next video we'll show you how you work it uh, past that